Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leafs TV. It's a Canadian game. Brought to you by Molson Canadian. It's January 2nd, 1978, and while the Iron Curtain has not come down from around Eastern Europe, it has grudgingly for owner Harold Ballard around Maple Leaf Gardens, as the Toronto Maple Leafs entertain Kladno from Czechoslovakia in Super Series 78. It's an exhibition game, and being treated that way by the Maple Leafs, Daryl Sittler is in the lineup, but absent are Palmatier, Salming, Turnbull, and McDonald. The Kladno team bolstered by five add-ons, including the Stastny brothers, Pratisak Caberle, one of the stalwarts on defense. Hello everyone, I'm Joe Bowen, and welcome to Leaf TV and our classic games. Tonight, we have a very interesting one. The first ever exhibition game against an Eastern European club team. Kladno from Czechoslovakia arrives at Maple Leaf Gardens. And while Alan Eagleson is crying that that the Leafs are not dressing their best lineup. Coach Roger Nielsen is saying why it's just an exhibition game and we have some injured players. The Maple Leafs are looking forward to this, as are all of the fans, in the wake of all of the international hockey that's gone on since the Summit Series in 1972. The starting goaltenders for the game, Czechoslovakia will start Miroslav Krasa in goal, and for the Maple Leafs, it's Mike Palmatier's understudy, Gord McRae, playing in his final season as a member of the Leafs. It's the Leafs and Kladno, and it is Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leaf TV. This portion of Leafs TV is brought to you by Canon. Sure, you could come to Arby's and pick your favorite, or you could pick four of your faves for just six bucks with the Arby's Pick Four Value Menu with 330 possible value combos, like the Curly Curly Drink Melt Meal, the Onion Rings Drink Turnover Mozzarella Meal, the Mozzarella Turnover Curly Melt Meal, and new to pick four, the Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, <gasps> with a Junior Deluxe for dessert. The Arby's Pick Four Value Menu is back, but it's only for a limited time, so hurry in to pick yours today, because you've got 330 ways to say, I'm picking Arby's. Gladno team has an 18-year-old scoring sensation in Peter Stastny. Milan Novi, another name to watch. 18 months earlier, he was absolutely tremendous at the Canada Cup. The Maple Leaf lineup is decimated with injury. Roger Nielsen is going with his backup goaltender as Mike Palmatier gets the night off. Injured are Boreas Salming, Ian Turnbull and Lanny McDonald. Greg Hotham, Scott Garland and Mike Pellick are up from the minors. One of the regulars who is in the lineup is Pat Boutet. A ninth round draft pick of the Maple Leafs from 1972 from the University of Minnesota, Duluth. The Windsor native spent 10 years in the NHL, spending his first five in a Leaf uniform. And Pat joins us tonight to talk a little bit about this game, January 2nd, 1978. It's right in the middle of the season, Pat. You're going, it is an exhibition game. The owner has relented, I guess, in allowing a team from behind the Iron Curtain to play in the Taj Mahaki. But he says that it's a waste of time, and he's saying this before the game's even played. Alan Eagleson is telling the players that it's an important game, and he's upset that some of the regulars are not in the lineup. How are the players handling it, and how is Roger Nielsen handling it? Well, you know, from a Roger's point of view, I mean, we always had a certain game plan to uh, be prepared for every game. But we didn't really know what to expect, uh, uh, you know, playing them. So um, it was going to be kind of a new experience for everybody. Um, the problem with that game was we had so many injuries, and uh, as you'll see, I mean, we have different lineups that hadn't played together. And I think when you go out there, you're not really sure uh, uh, exactly what you're going to be up against, and it's, so it's really hard to prepare yourself. 
Some of the keys to the game tonight, specifically, you have to contain Peter Stastny, a name that later we would learn all about was a pretty good hockey player, but for the first time out against him, 18 years of age, I think he opened some eyes. Well, now you look at uh, exactly what he did in this game and, uh, you know, what he did down the road in his career. I mean, he was definitely a, a, a spectacular hockey player, and it's just it's, uh, nice to see somebody that young and all of a sudden the blossom of what, he, what, he, what he, type of player they blossomed into. Also a key to the game, Gord McRae getting an infrequent start in goal for the Maple Leafs. And can they find some scoring with all of the number one players out of the lineup, namely Lanny McDonald and Ian Turnbull and Boria Salming? So it is January 2nd, 1978. It's the Leafs against Kladno from Czechoslovakia, and this is Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leaf TV. Hi, this is Chuck Storm. I'm live at the scene where last night there was a robbery at about 3.30 in the morning. Now, police have... Oh, oh. Pride. Excitement. Style. It's all in the jersey. You can wear what the pros wear. Take a stance. Visit Center Sports and customize your Leafs jersey. Best team selection. Official team merchandise. Newest Leafs gear. Center Sports, your only destination for all of your athletic official Leafs merchandise. Located at Air Canada Center, Gate 1. Tournament poker is about patience, stamina, and mental focus until eventually your head's up. And there's just one more opponent left to beat. Are you ready for tournament poker at the world's largest poker site? PokerStars.net. The Canadian central defender from the bare head. The opening goal. He's done it. It didn't work last Saturday. It has this. D Rosario. Here we are just about to witness this international meeting between the Cladno Club and the Toronto Maple Leafs. With us in the booth tonight is Ren Blair. Welcome again, Ren. And here's Bill now with the pregame introductions. Okay, we have the officials now at center ice. Wally Harris taking his position, flanked by Ray Scapanello and Claude Bichard. And now we'll see the Cladno goalkeeper, Miroslav Krasa. That's Krasa. Number 24, and playing in the nets tonight for the Maple Leafs is number one, Gord McRae. Gord McRae will be playing in the nets for the Leafs tonight. Well, the Leafs, their fans gave a warm, enthusiastic welcome to this Czech team when they were introduced moments ago, as you heard and saw. And there's the coach again, Oslav Prošek, coach of the Kladno Club. Leaf fans weren't quite as generous in their greeting to some of their own players. Some who have not been too productive of late, but the loudest cheering was reserved for Ellis Boudreaux Williams and you guessed it, Captain Darrell Sidler. Well, we have the line of Milan Novi at center ice number 23 with Ed Novak number seven on the right wing and they get set for the face off. Number 22 is Boslav Eberman. This line has been very effective for the Gladno team since they've been here in Canada. Number 11 is Pospisil, and number 12 is Camberley, the two defensemen for the Gladno team. That's Camberley, third back, and it's picked up there by Novak. Novak coming to his own blue line for Gladno up to the Leaf blue line. Long shot by Novi, and that was nowhere near the net. The Leafs come back, led by Williams to Jimmy Jones' a shot. Kurt Walker is out there as well on the forward line. Mike Pellick on the defense with Trevor Johansson. Milan Novi couldn't get to the puck. Goes back to Mike Pellick, a quick pass. Here's Jimmy Jones getting into the clear. Passed it back, and Williams didn't get it. They bumped together, and back comes Novak. 
over the line with Everman. Dropped it back to the blue line for Kimberly. Kimberly in the shot around into the corner. Going after Johansson, he kicks it to Kurt Walker. Up to Jimmy Jones. It's knocked out at center line. Stopped by number 12, Kimberly, out of the Cladno Club. Back up at center. Picked up by Mike Pellick. Pellick shoots the puck in wide of the net and ends up with Cressa tipping it but not getting it to anybody. Back of the net. Adno bringing the puck up to center ice. Trying to get over the line and going in. Scores! Number 19. Went right in. That was Poser. Yaroslav Pozar, number 19, just got on the ice, and the Czechs lead in 1-0. How about that, Howie Meeker? He told you to watch for this fellow Pozar just before the show tonight, and here's a good shot from a sharp angle through McRae, and it's 1-0 Kladno. What do you think, Rand Blair, as we look at it from this angle? Well, I think uh, he got just a step on the defense there uh, around young Greg Hotham, and uh, I'm sorry, that's not Hotham. Carlisle? Carlisle, I'm sorry, and got a good shot away there. 128. Yaroslav Posar. Okay, up from the center Edward ice now. Come the Stetsny brothers, Peter and Marion. Marion is 21 and Peter is 16. And Yaroslav Posar is the left winger. Peter Stetsny plays at center ice, number 16. Number 21 is Marion Stetsny, plays on the right side. First time back for Scott Garland, number 25, on the right side. Hasn't played in weeks and weeks. And it's Bruce Boudreaux with Errol Thompson and Scott Garland. Randy Carlisle on the defense, along with young Greg Hoffman. Now it's Cladno to center ice again. The Statsnys over to Peter Statsny. Two leaf players went down. Into the corner goes the puck. Around for... Errol Thompson, he's jammed in against the boards. Boudreaux took his check out. The puck along the boards. Marion Stastny gets the right point to Pierce Stastny. Going right in the goal. Oh, he scores! He may wait. Was it a goal? Did it go in the net? Up see underneath the crossbar. Yes, I think it was in by him. It was a high shot. Beautiful play by uh, the Stastny's there. And this is a pretty good hockey club we're watching by him. Watch it now. For a moment, it looked like it hit the bar and stayed out. Stayed up right underneath there. See it? Well, the light went on, and the goal judge has a much better look at it than we do from this angle, but we'll catch another close look here. Yes, you're right. It did go right underneath the crossbar, but in by an inch. Peter Stastny scores. That one just under the crossbar. 2.15 is the time of that one, and uh, right away, Cladno has a 2-0 lead. Right in front of the net to Ferguson. He shot it wide. Goes back to the net. Pat Boutet. Trying to center the puck. Gives it to Ferguson. Ferguson is given a bump by Mueller. And the puck is up at center right. That's Miroslav Krivacek, number 15, out there now for the Kladno team, who lead 2 to nothing in this first period. And that's Krivacek getting it over the blue line. Krivacek along with... Mueller, and Mueller couldn't get a shot. The Leafs come back, led by Ferguson. Up to center, over the line. Trying to center it, and Krasa leaves it behind the net. Shot down the boards by, by Vavida, and going back to touch it is Mike Pelling. As Vavida of Clando had shot the puck down the ice, it's called for icing. From Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, this is Super Series 78. Before Noel Coward. After Noel Coward. <laughs> <laughs> 
No coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30, Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. When I turned 40, I had four kids and a full-time job, and I was concerned about my cholesterol, so I joined a soccer team. I could barely walk after the first game. A friend encouraged me to keep going, and I've been playing for five years now. I've made great friends, gained confidence, and I'm a better soccer mom and role model. In fact, my daughter chose the same jersey number as me. I'm Allison, and my participation is soccer. Novi Novak and Everman out there now. There's a shot by at least Randy Carlisle, and that was off the target by Ellis. Trying to stir things up with Daryl Sittler. But it's picked up by Pladno with offside. Nomi waited too long, and number seven, Edward Novak, went over the blue line in advance of that pass. That Averman, Brian, is a strong-looking hockey player. Just inside that blue line, he fought the center for the puck and came off the boards on that play. Milan Novi, number seven, number 23. Milan Novi, number seven, Edward Novak, and number 22, Roslav Eberman, back of the leaf net for Randy Carlisle. Over it goes. Otham bringing it out. Not for Ron Ellis. Ron Ellis races after it into the corner. Left it back of the net. Velikat then to Sittler. Sittler right in front. Velikat to go swipe at it and missed it. Passer was in front of his goal crease. Right out now by Novak. A long pass. Into the corner. Jump was Eberman of... Gladno, it's 2 0 for the Czechoslovakian team. Gladno over the Toronto Maple Leafs in this first period. Oh, well, here's the guy that sparkled in showdown last year and in the Canada Cup. You heard mention of uh, his single goal that beat Canada in one of the Canada Cup games. And then, of course, Canada came back on the goal by Daryl Sittler to win it. But Novi can do everything. He's strong, he's not very big, but he's a great hockey player. Vorjak and Schirmack are the two defensemen now for Gladno. At least keep it in. Williams getting it to Jones. Back of the net. Jones got it back, but there was a man there to intercept it. It's Peter Statsny. Gets it over to Marion Statsny. And it was Williams who took it to Pellick. Pellick trying to get it out. Comes out over the line. Shot by Pellick down in over the blue line. Now Peter Statsny. Of Cladno being chased back by Jimmy Jones and a swipe by Jimmy Jones on the arm of Chermak over the line for Peter Stasny. He's checked and it's back of the net for Dave Williams. Two nothing for Cladno in this first period. Every Johansson back of the net starts out over on the wing to Kurt Walker. With Williams. Williams just failed to control it. He's got it though. He's tried to center it. Too well covered. And it's cleared by Marion Stetsney around the other side. Trevor Johansson tipped it in. That's deflected wide. Try to get it out in front. Williams taking a squad of Chirac as they finish that play. You were mentioning Tiger Williams before the game ran. Well, there was Kurt Walker in there too, Brian. And I think the least realize that they're going to have to move that body out of the way and start roughing it up a bit to slow this team down. There we are. There's the Czech coach and the Leaf, Roger Nielsen. All set to go. We have Sikora, Krivacek, and Mueller on the forward line. Mueller's number 18, the centerman. And number 15 is Miroslav Krivacek. Up at center right, the puck is shot by number 18, Mueller, in. Left it for Hotham. Hotham gets it up to Randy Carlisle up the center for Bruce Boudreau. Back to Hotham. Gets over the red line. Shot it in, but Boudreau was way offside on this left wing. Leaf fans, of course, very disappointed that Salming and McDonald are not out there. Glennie, who was not supposed to start tonight, is, is hampered by some breathing problems, but he's elected to start. I haven't seen him on the ice yet, though, Brian. He hasn't made an appearance. He that I in the regular action except the introduction so he's he's hurting 
And number 14 you saw there for the Cladno Club was Vuxlav Sikora. The Czechs have the puck. They come over the line again. Number 15 with Number 15, Krivacek. And it's 3-0. Well, here's an auto mechanic from Kladno, Czechoslovakia, and he knows how to find the corner of that net, Ren. He drilled that one perfectly. Made a great play because he had a, a winger with him. I think Mueller coming in from the other side, but he just faked it as though to throw a pass and then let the shot go at the same time. Look at McCray pull his leg in tight a little bit. Well, Krivacek block there. Puck on his way. If McCray had left his foot out there, he would have made the stop. Three to nothing. Czechoslovakia. Yes, number three out of the Voda. Time 6.02. 6.02 is the official time of that goal. And the, the other thing that they did well there, Brian, was Krivacek kept that puck on the ice. Well, let's watch it again now from this angle, Ren Blair, as Krivacek breaks in. You, you can see his teammate with him, but he shoots and finds the target. Super Series 78, Kladno from Czechoslovakia out quickly against the Maple Leafs at the Gardens, three to nothing. I think it's maybe three or four shots that Gordon McRae's had, three go by him. But he, the crowd's accepting it exceptionally well. There's just no booing at all going on there. Poor Gordon. Well, you got to feel sorry for Gordon. He, uh, you know, I think we started to realize that they're, they're playing for real, right? So we better, we better pick it up a little bit and help them out and get back in the game. The, uh, the crowd's chanting for Mike Palmatier, and obviously Roger Nielsen is saying, no, Palmy is uh, the, coming in. There's a schedule of games coming up. There's no chance he's playing tonight. Well, that's why we, we all knew that, you know, for Gordy's sake, it was going to be a long night unless we started playing, and uh, we felt for him. And I think as the game gets going there, we, we get back in the game a little bit. All right, let's go back to more of the action from Maple Leaf Gardens. Here's Bill Hewitt. Great enough thing to score in favor of Cladno in this first period. They shoot the puck down the ice. It's going over the red line. It'll be brought back for ice. <laughs> Some shooting. Ran three shots, three goals for Cladno, and the crowd very unhappy at this point with the hometown Leafs. They were pretty good chances, though, Brian. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that uh, McRae had too great a chance on any of them. They were, they were well executed plays by the Czechs. Comes back for Trevor Johansson, but it was a false start to do over again. That's number 23, Milan Novi. Number seven, Edward Novak, and number 22. Roslav Eberman. Eberman got three goals against the Chicago Blackhawks the other night. Three to nothing, the score in favor of Kladno. Right in front of the net, Ferguson waited too long before he took his shot. Joe Anson covers his man. Here's the two-man break. Over the line for Novak. Takes the shot, he missed. And that goes up into the crowd. Novak let that one really fly. You notice that the uh, Czech team here, uh, indicative of much of the European play, they're seldom offside, uh, Brian, and uh, that's something I think they do extremely well, is, is stay, that's a big play in hockey, to stay onside. That's right. Nothing wrong with their shooting either, as evidenced by the three goals they scored here tonight so far. 13-16 remaining in the first period, a 3-0 for Kladno, Czechoslovakia. Back it comes to Randy Carlin. was deflected en route to the goal. You'll see on the replay, perhaps a little better. As he Carlisle. also kept that pretty well down on the ice, Brian, which, which gave the league player, I think, as you say, the chance to deflect it. They'll take it any way it goes in as Carlisle from this angle shoots again. Let's see what happens. On its way, they have just touched a stick there and went right through the goaltender, Krasa. Toronto goal scored by number 27, Daryl Sittler. Sittler gets it. Assist, number 23, Randy Carlisle. And number 8, Jack Valaket. Time, 6.53. 6.53 is the time of that goal. Wide open, a Sittler sends one over to Kurt Walker. Walker trying to kick it loose, and they hold it for a face-off. Gladno as Krivacek, number 15, Sikora, number 14, and Mueller, number 18. Some clever sign painting there right over the executive box as Harold Baller and Jim Gregory look on. Randy Carlisle got the assist on the goal by Darrell Sittler. Valakit also picked up an assist at 6.53. On the faceoff, it goes to the corner. Picked up by Scott Garland. 
Trying to get it out in front of the net. Williams was there. Ian bumps his man against the boards. Number 14, Sikora, up at center ice for Tudno. Shot it over the line, and Jimmy Jones gets it out. Knocked back to the blue line, where it's picked up there by Vivola. Vivola gets it over on offside, was Sikora, number 14. Frequent checks, uh, changes right now by Cladno. Cladno is a mining town in Czechoslovakia. The players uh, have jobs in the town, earn a little extra money for playing hockey as well, not unlike our junior hockey system here in Canada. Plus Bichel and Camberley on the defense for Cladno. The forward line consists of Novi Novak and Everman. And it's cleared by Milan Novi in the side of the net. Picked up by Garland. It's knocked out in front, and McCray gets it over to Williams. Up to Mike Pellick. He takes a long shot. Off the boards, Garland closing in, and he couldn't get a shot away. Comes back and down the ice. Back for it is Mike Pellick. Dump pass up at center. Racing down on the right side is Jerry Butler. Right to center, he did right for the net. Williams, Williams had the whole net to shoot at, and he shot it out behind. Play is called. That's the most effective leaf line in terms of territorial play. They're looking around for Williams and Walker. A surprise line, too, with Jones at center. This is Super Series 78 from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. All right, Rand, how did he miss this one on the replay? It came right underneath. Uh, Williams had hit his skate of that Check right. player there and it slithered right underneath the goaltender and across the front it of the Looked like a sure goal for the Tiger. Good go with Butler and Errol Thompson. In the circle, right over to the side. Chermak, number five. Oh, here's a quick pass. Going right in on goal. That was Stetsny, number 21. Randy Carlisle knocks his man down, gets the puck over the line. A great save by Gordy McRae. Puck comes back to the blue line. Knock him a shot. That bounces to Butler. Butler took a shot right in front of the net. A big goal! Arrow Thompson. The Leafs come storming back after trailing three to nothing. The crowd getting on them a bit, but they're showing a lot of pride and determination now, Rendler. You see it so often happens in hockey, Brian. McCray come up with a tremendous save on a clear-cut break, uh, break in from the blue line. The Leafs come right back to get a very important goal. Nobody has a better backhand, we'll say it again, than Errol Thompson. Errol Thompson. And we watch again now Assist as that loose puck is snared by Thompson. Butler. And, and three, Crossing Gray is Thompson. beaten for the second time. time 920. Errol Thompson time. from Jerry Butler well, and Greg Hoffman. Time I have score a three to nothing. It's now three to two, and we're just coming up to the halfway mark of the first period. Every Johansson. To Ferguson. Up over the blue line. Up to center. Shot the puck into the corner. Walker goes racing in after it. Into his check. Puck stopped by Ferguson. Takes his shot right in front of the net. Walker goes back down before he can let it go. Lace have put there. And they hold it for a faceoff in the check zone to the left. Five goals scored in seven minutes and 52 seconds. Ren, this could be one of those games where last shot wins it. That's right. I noticed uh, uh, that there's a quite a bit of bumping starting out there now, and Wally Harris is noted as a referee to give a quite a bit of leeway to teams, so I think Walker, Williams, and those guys can go at it a little. Novak, Novi, and Eberman are there now for Gladden. Hitler won the draw, but it wasn't dropped fairly. Number 23, Milan Novi. Number 22, Boslav Eberman. And Edward Novak, number 7. Number 11 is Postichel. And Caberlet is number 12. 3 to 2 the score in favor of Cladno in this first period with 9 minutes, 55 seconds remaining. I don't think uh, 
probably, Brian, that rough play will intimidate the checks too much, though they don't mind too much of that. Number 22, Eberman, coming up to center ice. Offside is Novak, that shot was wide, well, and it'll be brought outside. The, before the game, Bill, we talked to Scott Garland, and he said he was delighted to be back in uniform again. Uh, Brian, I'm really pleased to be back uh, tonight, especially with the Leafs. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a long time, nine months since I've played in a game, and this is a good opportunity for me, uh, sort of low key, to uh, get back in, in, into some playing form. And this so I'm very happy with the Leafs, and this gives me an opportunity to uh, to get out there and bump a little. And as I said, it's been a while, so I'm looking forward to that. Corner simply couldn't get it and it's brought back up to center ice. No back offside on his pass through center. Right now making a change now. Milan Novi likes cars, likes to play tennis. He's probably the best conditioned athlete on this Czech team. He goes to law school. Peter and Marion Statsny out there now, 16 and 21. And with them is Yaroslav Pozar. Around by Chermak. The puck is loose. Sitting there and he got it. Bellicat missed it. And it's back up for Texas. The Czechs over the line. The Cardinal was shot. That's why. And that one bounces into the corner. Sitler knocked his man down. Got Garland. Up for Bellicat. Goes out to center ice where Chermak. Gives it to Peter Statsneed, right on to the stick of Daryl Sittler. And he was checked from behind. Puck shot down the ice. Too far for Marion Statsneed, but he stopped it. And Bellicat. Up to Sittler, over the line. Sittler shoots, and that's grubbed by Krasa and Hill for a face-off. Eight minutes and 26 seconds remaining in the first period. The score is Cladno 3, the Toronto Maple Leafs 2. Sure, you could come to Arby's and pick your favorite, or you could pick four of your faves for just six bucks with the Arby's Pick 4 value menu with 330 possible value combos, like the Curly Curly Drink Melt Meal, the Onion Rings Drink Turnover Mozzarella Meal, the Mozzarella Turnover Curly Melt Meal, and new to pick four, the Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, <gasps> with a Junior Deluxe for dessert. The Arby's Pick 4 value menu is back, but it's only for a limited time, so hurry in to pick yours today, because you've got 330 ways to say, I'm picking Arby's. Jersey. You can wear what the pros wear. Take a stance. Visit Center Sports and customize your Leafs jersey. Best team selection. Official team merchandise. Newest Leafs gear. Center Sports, your only destination for all of your athletic official Leafs merchandise. Located at Air Canada Center, Gate 1. Pellet rolled a shot, cleared out on the wing, 
Novak hit by Boudreaux. A pass goes down in over the line. And it's called. I think now. Oh, he is really in pain now, and they're going to have to put their backup man in. That I think the only problem is, Brian, that he is not necessarily their main string goaltender. From what I learned in talking with George Gross today, he felt that the other goaltender probably had played more games. So perhaps we're not going to get any edge in that particular no. situation. Oops, look out. This is an interesting debut. For Maybe he won't make it either. <laughs> Milan Kolacek, Kolacek, the goaltender who is replacing Krasa now. Sort of a delayed reaction on that injury to Krasa. On wearing number 20, Milan Kolacek. Kolacek is in goal now, number 20. Udo with Errol Thompson and Kurt Walker. Stetsny, along with Mary Stetsny and Kozar, intercepted by Glennie. Glennie a shot. That was knocked down. Errol Thompson back for Glennie again. Poked it to Thompson. Thompson got his backhand. It was weak. Cleared by number four, Vorjak. And taken by Kozar, number 19. Gets it back to number five, who is Jermak. Up to center ice. 2 5 for Peter Stetsny. Marion Statsley was checked. Boudreaux to Walker to Boudreaux to Errol Thompson. And Errol Thompson just failed to get over the line. Bozair shoots it over here out of the right wing for Marion Statsley. Glennie had him covered. Andy Kylow around on the boards. He goes to Walker. Up for Chris Boudreaux. And he was skated off nicely there by Chermak. Leading Toronto Maple Leafs three to two in this first period with 5:46 left. Ryan Glennie drives it in offside. Well, that shot from Mike Pelling apparently caught Krasa on the toe or the shin, and there he is just behind the Gladno bench in some pain. Left goes into Gladno corner, going after to George Ferguson, and Pat Boutet knocks his man down. Pelling with a shot right in front of the net. Broken up and brought back out by Devoto. Devoto over the line, number three, a backhand right into that. George Ferguson leaves it for Gordon McRae to cover up. 5.19 to play first period, and a reminder that Super Series continues Thursday, January 5th. Spartak at St. Louis and the Checker Dome, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 5.19 to go, first period, 3 to 2, Pledno. Remember Joe Anson. Off the board and out. Stopped there by Novak. Now over the line. A chance to shot, and McCray stopped that. That drive from close in. Back up at center ice. A pass over on the right wing. Number 18, Mueller couldn't get to it. That Cladno have the puck. Number three, Nora Viola. Viola gets it over the line. He's bumped into the board and knocked down by Scott Garland. Garland comes out. A long pass for Pat Boutet. Too far. And Scott Garland is knocked down. Gets up. Couldn't get the puck loose. And here's a break. Racing down is Mueller. They're trying to get back. Hotham got a piece of him. Pat Boutet is there. Pat Boutet with Daryl Sippler up at center. A long shot into the corner, off the boards, behind the net. Stop right in front, and Sippler just missed it. Cleared by Novak, up to center right. Novi over the line with a shot. That's why. The puck is kicked to the blue line, kept in by Amberley. Trying to get it out in front. Number 22 is Eberman. Comes back to the blue line. Here comes the shot. And that was stopped. Play is called. And there's going to be an elbow wing penalty to the Leafs. That uh, big number 15, right winger Krivacek, is some hockey player, Bill. He's gone in there twice. That last shift to get a real shoulder there to uh, number 20 on the fence for uh, 
uh, at least McCulloch, and he was in in the clear for about the fourth time this game. Well, Butler gets the first penalty for elbowing. Here's the Two call. minutes for elbowing. Time 16:21. Jerry Butler for elbowing. Time 16:21. Now from the face-off, puck kept in by Crosby Shell. Gets it over on the wing to number 22, Eberman. Back to him. Eberman took a shot. Another stop by Gordon McCray. And Jimmy Jones shoots it down the ice. Back for it, number 11. Crosby Shell of the Gladno Club. Out to center, stopped by Randy Carlisle over to not from any just shoots it down the ice. And so far, the Leafs have been able to leave off the Badeno power play. 121 remaining in the penalty. Over the line for Everman. Everman is too well covered, and Jimmy Jones gets it out and down the ice. Master Shield. To number 23, Milan Novi. Novi. Offside. Poker is about patience, stamina, and mental focus until eventually your head's up and there's just one more opponent left to beat. Are you ready for tournament poker at the world's largest poker site? PokerStars.net George Ferguson with Errol Thompson. Ferguson has the puck, and he finds an opening and shoots it down the ice with 54 seconds remaining in the penalty. Pellick and Joe Hanson on the defense. Puck up here at center ice for Peter Stetsny. With Marion Stetsny over the line. Peter Stetsny still has it. Trying to set up a power play. Set is Vorjak, number four, into Peter Stetsny. Vorjak's got it again. There's a shot played on. Off the stick of number five, Chermak. Harold Thompson trying to get out. He's there. By Wally Harris, that was definitely interference on the part of the Czech player. Uh, the lead player was trying to play the puck, and he just got in between him to try to block out. Uh, to give their point man a chance to get a shot away, but Wally Harris caught him right there and called a real good penalty. Well, that's Marion Stasky. No penalty to number 21. Family. Two minutes for interference. Time 1804. 1804 the time. Stasny interference the call against Marion Stasny of Platino. 17 seconds left in the penalty to Butler. Back for it is Orjak. Back of the net. Kolisek has come into play in the nets in place of Kraza, who was injured. Now here's Trevor Johansson getting over the line. Takes the shot, lets it go right on. And that is knocked over to the glass. Trevor Johansson took a swipe at it again. Peter Sessley gets the puck and comes out. Number 16, a long pass at center. Broken up by Mike Pellick. Sixteen 
only 22 years old. That was a gift goal in many ways. As Stastny found it coming right through on his stick, as Pellet lost it there, tried to shovel it back. There's Stastny taking it away from the Leafs. Boudreaux, and he finds the corner of the net again. You just can't give these teams uh, any kind of an opening like that. That was very unfortunate for Mike Pellet, though. Because he was on his knees, he wanted to flip it out, and it rolled off the corner of his stick, and he couldn't reach it. Time Unassisted goal. Now we have a 4-2 score now in favor of Kladno of Czechoslovakia. Scoring while the Leafs had the advantage. Hops over McQueen's stick, goes to Mike Pellick. Pellick shot it over onto the right wing for Zittler. Zittler at center. Over for Mike Pellick. Over the line. Back to Valakat. Took a shot right in front of the net. And Williams missed it. Taken by Milan Novi. Shot it out to nowhere near Novak. Mike Pellick to Daryl Zittler. Tried to hit Valakat. That goes to the far wing. Shot down the ice again. And Trevor Johansson goes back with 35 seconds left in the first period. Over to Sittler. Up for Williams to Johansson. Over to Pellick. Pellick up to Bellicat. In for Sittler. Into the corner. Sittler still has it. Right of center with 17 seconds. Back Bellicat. Trying to get the puck loose. And going to the boards. Williams. With six seconds. And a face-off. In the Gladno circle to the right. Ryan Glenny, who was limping coming into the game tonight, has gone to the Leaf dressing room. These NHL teams fear and are injuries in games like this. They consider them exhibition games, meaningless in many ways. And, of course, the Leafs have had a very rugged schedule lately, something like 16 games since December 4th. That's right, Brian. And they're very emotionally popular games with Canadian fans and, and the hockey teams, but from, from a practical matter, they, they are at the wrong time of the year for our clubs. On the face off, took a shot. And that was that. One second left. There goes the bell, and the first period is over. And so the score at the end of the first period is Cladno 4 and the Toronto Maple Leafs 2. Before, Noel Coward. After Noel Coward. <laughs> Noel Coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30 Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. When I turned 40, I had four kids and a full-time job, and I was concerned about my cholesterol, so I joined a soccer team. I could barely walk after the first game. A friend encouraged me to keep going, and I've been playing for five years now. I've made great friends, gained confidence, and I'm a better soccer mom and role model. In fact, my daughter chose the same jersey number as me. I'm Allison, and my participation is soccer. Sure, you could come to Arby's and pick your favorite, or you could pick four of your faves for just six bucks with the Arby's Pick Four Value Menu with 330 possible value combos, like the Curly Curly Drink Melt Meal, the Onion Rings Drink Turnover Mozzarella Meal, the Mozzarella Turnover Curly Melt Meal, and new to pick four, the Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, <gasps> with a Junior Deluxe for dessert. The Arby's Pick Four Value Menu is back, but it's only for a limited time, so hurry in to pick yours today because you've got 330 ways to say, I'm thinking Arby's. Leafs get back into the game, trailing 4-2 to two at the end of the first period. Errol Thompson and Daryl Sittler have gotten the goals. Pat, as you watch this game, uh, how often had you seen yourself on TV, and what was your impression of watching you and your teammates parading around out there in this exhibition game? Well, I think we could see it took us a little while to get uh, used to what they were like. They, they play that kind of weaving style, and 
I think after a while, they, we kind of got a feel for what they were doing, and we took us a little while to get back in the game. Did Roger show you a lot of video of yourselves in, in training and maybe taking you aside to teach you things? Or uh, his video then it was really just in its infancy. Well, I think back then, like I say, like we never ever, ever sat down, ever watched any like say videos of the other teams, but we always. Um, he kept them more for doing his shots, uh, shots on net, how many checks, how many body checks you had. And like at the end of each game, we always had a stat uh, sheet to know exactly what we, what we were doing. So watching yourself, did you think Pat Boutet's a pretty good player? Well, I don't know. You look back at it, you say, <laughs> I probably do a lot, a lot of things different, but uh, it was interesting just to see, you know, those few years, a few years back. Speaking of funny things that happen, uh, the Czech uh, team makes a a goaltending change because uh, the starter uh, gets hurt and we find out that there's a little idiosyncrasies about Maple Leaf guards. That was one of the funniest things I've seen. Well, I know that, you know, the, the player box back then were, were so small at that one end. Once you got behind that, that door, I think he, he got one leg caught there and one leg still on the bench <laughs> and he did a header, so he's, he's lucky he didn't break his neck. Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> he's right. So it is 4-2 in favor of Kladno at the end of the first period. It's Leafs and Kladno from Czechoslovakia. It's January the 2nd, 1978. This is Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leaf TV. Pride, excitement, style, it's all in the jersey. You can wear what the pros wear. Take a stance, visit Center Sports and customize your Leafs jersey. Best team selection, official team merchandise, newest Leafs gear. Center Sports, your only destination for all of your athletic official Leafs merchandise. Located at Air Canada Center, Gate 1. Tournament poker is about patience, stamina, and mental focus until eventually your head's up and there's just one more opponent left to beat. Are you ready for tournament poker at the world's largest poker site? PokerStars.net it is 4-2 in favor of Kladno, who jumped to a 3-0 lead on goals by Yaroslav Pozar, Peter Stasny, and Kribchek. And then Daryl Sittler gets the Leafs on the board, and Errol Thompson's backhand has got the Leafs back into the game 3-2 before Stasny scores his second goal of the contest, and it is 4-2. Pat Boutet, the one year of junior before you went to college at Minnesota Duluth, you played with the London Knights. And Daryl Sittler was on that team, and so was Dan Maloney, who, as far as Leaf history is concerned, at this particular point, is just a little bit down the road. But what was it like playing with those two? What was it like playing with Daryl Sittler? Did you know at that time that he was going to be as good a player as he turned out to be in the NHL? Well, actually, when I went to London, I mean, they were very, uh, you know, Danny and, uh, and Daryl are both great people and great team leaders. And, and uh, I think they were, even back then, they were destined or that they, you know, that they were going to be great, great hockey players, not only good people, but um, it's great to, uh, you know, to play with Evelyn Jr. and all of a sudden you see how they, how they, uh, how they progress in, in hockey and uh, they both had spectacular careers. When you uh, watch Sittler uh, in these games um, um, dating back to, well, tonight, 1978, uh, he develops as a player as he comes along, doesn't he? And he really does take charge. He had great vision of the ice. Well, you know, I think City was, you know, always a hard worker and uh, unlimited talent. And the best thing about him was he was a very, uh, he, was, he was a leader too, you know, both on and off the ice. So um, he was just a great, uh, great guy to play with. The Leafs trail by a score of 4-2 to two at the end of the first period for Maple Leaf Gardens. You're watching Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leaf TV. Before Noel Coward.
After Noel Coward. <laughs> Noel Coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30 Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. Hi, this is Chuck Storm. I'm live at the scene where last night there was a robbery at about 3.30 in the morning. Now, police have... Oh, oh. teams are on the ice now for the second period with the score four to two in favor of Cladno and they scored one of their goals while they were shorthanded and you see they group down there now getting set for the start of the second period and was mentioned by Ben Blair and by Brian that the next goal may tell the whole story. Starting at in the penalty box, of course, we have Aaron Statsny. Four seconds left in his penalty. There you see it up on the timer. And we're coming right down to the faceoff here. Milan Novi. And now we have Novak out there with Eberman. Number 11 is Pospisil, and Camberley is number 12. The puck is shot down the ice, going back for it. The puck is touched, but it, it crossed the red line after number 21, Marion Stetsny, got on the ice. So that's why the icing against the Gladno Club. Curious, Bill, uh, what went on in the dressing room between periods. They seem to be in there quite a long time. Now we'll see what happens. Kurt Walker goes down. Pellick into the corner for Jones. To Pellick try to center it. Feed around on the boards. Picked off by Pedno. Up to center right. Over the line for Milan Novi, number 23, and he's too well covered by Trevor Johansson. Around to Mike Pellick. Pellick. Shot it back for Trevor Johansson. Johansson to Jimmy Jones with Williams. Shot the puck in, off the board. Moved back in the back by Koshek. Walker covered his man. Taken by Novak. Novak gets it up to center ice. Going down is Novi and Eberman. Novi goes in, takes his shot, and Jordan McCray handled that one. Into the corner, Williams takes his man out, and Kurt Walker hit Jimmy Jones in the back. Novak kept it in, and he was checked. Back out at center range for Arian Stetsny now. Number 21 is out there. Shot over the line. Goes into the corner. Muir is up there for 18. Comes up to Kurt Walker over on the wing to Williams. Shot down into the... Radno in, and back there for it. Number four, Vorjak. He's bringing the puck out to center right. Vorjak tried to get it over the line. Peter Stasny has it, number 16. He's got two goals already. Shot one wide of the net, and Craig covers up. Roger Nielsen has some experience in the international competition. He brought his Peterborough Juniors to Russia for games and said if he'd had a few more players on the club from other clubs, he might have won it all. Yes, I think we just proved that in that past junior series right here that uh, that we had to have the players from other teams. Those there, number 19 a shot. That was stopped. 
Peter and Marion Stasny out on the forward line, playing at center and at right wing. It's shot over for Errol Thompson. Errol Thompson goes back. He's being covered by Chermak, number five, and it goes out over the blue line. Stopped there by Marion Stasny. He's checked. Errol Thompson. After they check clear, now it's up to center ice for Peter Stasny over the blue line to Marion Stasny. Marion Stasny trying to get in front of the net. Randy Carlisle shot it out for Bruce Boudreaux, and in doing so, he shot it down the ice. Over the red line, icing is the call. This team is undefeated, Brian, uh, in their first two games, tying the New York Rangers 4-4 in Madison Square Garden, defeating the Chicago Blackhawks 6-4 in Chicago. Brian, they could have won the first game. It took a goal by Dave Maloney with just 15 seconds to play to earn the tie for the Rangers. And in Detroit tonight, it's Red Wings 1, Hardabutsi 1, Dennis Hall for the Wings, Hubler for Czechoslovakia. That's in the second period. Playing at the blue line for that moment. A bump there against the boards. Down went the Platinum player, number nine. Well, that's, that's Lav Netomansky's playing in that game for Detroit tonight. He's persona non grata in Czechoslovakia, from what I hear, but he's playing against his former hockey playing buddies tonight in Detroit. And we have Mueller, Sikora, and Rivacek. A quick pass to Thompson center over the blue line. One man back, going in for the backhand. He missed. Comes back to Randy Carlisle's shot. That's why. Goes to the boards. Over it goes to Randy Carlisle, and he shoots it in. Goes to the end. Hi, Bruce Pujo. Comes out to center. Scott Garland took his man up. Hoffman gets it over for Randy Carlisle. Andy Carlisle coming to center right, four to two. Favor of Cladno. Into the corner. Sikora, number 14. Gets it up on the right wing. Intercepted. Here's Thompson. Takes the shot. He fired it wide. Scott Garland trying to get it out in front. Goes back to Thompson. Thompson shot it right in front. George Ferguson gets it. George Ferguson. Took a shot. That's a very important goal. At least got that next one. And that came off a lot of hard work up front, particularly by Errol Thompson. Ferguson was undecided whether to feed it back to the point, and then he saw a man cutting in that direction and very smartly drilled it at the net from a very sharp angle. I, it may have bounced in off a teammate or off a Czech defenseman uh, on the replay. Perhaps we'll get a look at it now as Ferguson goes to the corner chasing the puck. Garland was there. Let's see how this one went in. Did it hit Garland? 25, we'll wait and see. Four to three now, the score in favor of Platinum. Five, Scott Garland. Assist, number 10, George Ferguson. And number that 12, Errol Thompson. Time, 327. 327 is the time of the goal. Buck comes out over the blue line. And Garland gets credit for that goal standing in front. Now it's at least keeping it in again. Pat Boutet into Ferguson. Right in Spot and Butler was knocked down from behind. He never even saw Novak. Novak hit by Boutet. Butler bumps him and shot down the ice. Lord McCray giving it to Mike Kellick. Shot down to center ice past Boutet. That's going over the red line. Knocked by Kolashek. Here's a chance for Butler. A backhand and it's caught by Kolashek. Now, Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. This is Super Series 78. Before Noel Coward. After Noel Coward. <laughs> <laughs> 
No coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30, Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. When I turned 40, I had four kids and a full-time job, and I was concerned about my cholesterol, so I joined a soccer team. I could barely walk after the first game. A friend encouraged me to keep going, and I've been playing for five years now. I've made great friends, gained confidence, and I'm a better soccer mom and role model. In fact, my daughter chose the same jersey number as me. I'm Allison, and my participation is soccer. At the Leaf bench, rookie defenseman Trevor Johansson. Now we have Daryl Sittler with Ellis and Valaket. Valaket playing on the left wing. Picked off by Chermak, number five. Gets it up on the right side, and... Bagno come over the line, that's Marion Statsny. Goes to Gordy McRae and he holds onto it. Peter Statsny and Marion Statsny, along with Yaroslav Pozar, number 19. Back at the blue line, we have Vorjak and Chermak. The shot, that was knocked down. Comes back to Randy Carlisle side of the net. Sitner, Velikip, Ellis. Up the center ice, a long pass for Sitner. Oh, just knocked down by Marius Stasny with Peter Stasny. Dropped it back to Peter Stasny. There comes the shot, and that was easily covered. Ellis took his man out, and Sitner coming down the ice with center. Trying to get, oh, just failed to get around Borjak. And Marion Stasny. Jack over on the far side to Chermak. Chermak, number five, tipped it in front. It goes sliding into the corner. Tipped to the blue line. Jack trying to get his shot away. Here comes another one. That's grabbed by Cody McCray, and he holds on. Young Greg Hotham down there, number three, just going out of the picture. Getting a, quite a baptismal here tonight. Tonight's game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. And we're all set to face off now in the Leaf Zone. Mueller at center now for Gladnow. The Leafs have possession. Mike Pellet off the boards at the blue line. Kept in. Here comes the shot. Oh! From just inside the blue line. That was Krivacek, number 15, and he put it to the bottom right-hand corner, and Gordy McCray didn't even move on This is the fellow Ren Blair likes, Krivacek. Keeps that puck on the ice. Amazing shot. Probably you would say that shouldn't be a goal, but it's just where he just keeps it down there. And it just, I think it must have tipped again off of something. It looked like it went straight in, but it was a fine shot. Miroslav Krivacek, unassisted, time 5.45. 5.45, unassisted. Here's a chance for Williams. He shot it, Walker missed it. Trevor Johansson a shot. That came near the net. Getting along the boards, but not out. The Leafs keep it in. Williams trying to fight for it and center it. Goes in to Eberman. Eberman. Then it's number seven, Novak. Up over the line. Johansson stopped him. A long pass for Williams. Williams going over the line. Back pass for Jimmy Jones. He took his shot. And it's picked off by number 22. Slav Eberman. He just shoots the puck in over the red line. It's touched by Pellick. Icing is the call. Eberman made some great moves to work the puck out of the zone. Then it made a bad pass to his right winger. But meanwhile, while we have a stoppage, let's take another look at that sparkling goal by Krivacek, his second of the game. And the first one was not unlike this one. I think that McCray's vision must have been blocked by the defenseman that went down there. And the shot was well shot and low and it just caught the far corner. He's got a shot like Lanny McDonald off that wing. Five to three. And the puck is brought out by number four, Vorjak. Then it's cleared up at center. Over the line, that's Peter Stesny. Rhinos to Cattle, gets it near the net. They left it there, came out in front, and the 
least pick it up. Randy Carlisle off the boards and down the ice. Bruce Boudreau goes after it. Knocked into the corner. Errol Thompson centered it back. Broken up by Poser. Up first at center ice comes Borjak, and he's stopped by Errol Thompson. Errol Thompson for Randy Carlisle. Carlisle, up it comes to Boudreau. Back to Thompson, over the line of Boudreau. Going right in our goal! He missed the open side of the net. Trying to get out of the goal was Errol Thompson. Back for Marion Stesny. Pulls there, intercepted. Leafs come back. Bruce Boudreau, up at center. Over on the left wing for Thompson. He couldn't make a play on it, so he goes to the bench. Mark Garland looked into his check. Comes back to blue line of shot. That's right in front, and it's grabbed. This is Super Series 78 from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Before Noel Coward. After Noel Coward. <laughs> Noel Coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30 Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. Sure, you could come to Arby's and pick your favorite, or you could pick four of your faves for just six bucks with the Arby's Pick Four Value Menu with 330 possible value combos, like the Curly Curly Drink Melt Meal, the Onion Rings Drink Turnover Mozzarella Meal, the Mozzarella Turnover Curly Melt Meal, and new to pick four, the Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, <gasps> with a Junior Deluxe for dessert. The Arby's Pick Four Value Menu is back, but it's only for a limited time, so hurry in to pick yours today, because you've got 330 ways to say, I'm picking Arby's. There's the time, 7.47, Cladno 5, Toronto 3. Ferguson with Dutek and Butler. Goes into the corner, Dutek covers his man. Trevor Johansson got his shot away. It's cleared out over the blue line. Mueller letting it go over on the right side. There's another hard shot by Krivacek. And that one was moving. Back up for Ferguson, up to center right. Bill has it. Over to Pat Bouquet. He takes it. Oh, I see. By Kolisek. Kolisek took over from Krasa in the first period. Ren, you made an interesting point there about the Czech shooting. A few years back, they would have moved the puck in much more uh, smartly than they do. They probably well, said five years, perhaps it be fair to say ten years, but they used to, remember, overwork the puck and not right. shoot. They're not doing that anymore in the game. Ferguson had a shot right from the faceoff and nearly put it between the legs of Kolasek. Two close calls in a row by the Leafs. There, Ferguson, and just a moment ago, Boudreau put it right into the goal mouth. These uh, Czech players are amazing how they position themselves. They play unorthodox. Every so often, you see the right winger drop way back on the point is always a defenseman, and they drop it to him, and he's walking right into the net again. Noby Eberman and Novak. Novak, number seven, over on the right wing. Stopped by Pat Kutsev. Stacked back along the boards. Shot back to Pospisil. Cleared up by Novi. Dropped back, and the Leafs have it. Butler just shot it down the ice. Back for it, number 12. Get him, get him. Shot it to the blue line, but not out. Henry Johansson for Ferguson. Ferguson trying to center it. Butler fights for it. Brought out by number 22, Gorslav Eberman. Eberman over the line. Dropped it back to Novak. Too far for Novi. And the Leafs bring it back. Ferguson with Valakat. Too hard and hopped over his stick. Going back to touch it and Gaberle, and he does, and it'll be brought back to the Leaf zone for icing. That sidestep back there by Gaberle behind the net on that check was an interesting little dance tune going on there. That's yes, it was. What a play. He, he showed us something, and so did Eberman raking the rush out of the zone. He gets out, the, out of there in a hurry. About eight members of this team were in the Canada Cup competition, and Eberman is one of the imports picked up from another club in uh, Czechoslovakia. 
Peter and Marion Stasny out there now on the forward line with number 19, Yaroslav Pozar. Peter Stasny, number 16, Marion is number 21. 10.41 remaining in the second period. 5-3 in favor of Cladno over the Toronto Maple Leafs. A long pass to Sittler, one man back. Sittler gets it through, right in on goal for Valkyrie. Set him up beautifully, Rambler. Yes, that was a great goal. That's the prettiest goal of the night, I think. No question. Uh, in terms of a play being made, uh, I thought maybe Valakett should have shot. He might have been in too far. But you can never underestimate Daryl Settler. He's always in, and he was there in backhand of the day. And we have Valakett and Settler, two centers on the same line, working with Ronnie Ellis. Seven, Good passing Settler. there. Settler to Valakett. Back to Settler. Eight, pays Jack off Valakett. in the fourth Leaf goal. The right six, Ron teams Ellis. are going. We're going to see about 20 nine, goals scored here tonight. Daryl Settler from Jack Valakett and Ron Ellis. Time, 9.32. 9.32 is the time of that scoring play. The puck back at the Cladno blue line. Sittler up for checking. Randy Carlisle shoots the puck in. Back for it is Neliba, number nine. And Sittler jams his man against the boards, goes after the puck, trying to get it, but it's covered by Pivacek. They don't stop the play. Manny Carlisle trying to get it over. It's brought back and stopped. Was Mueller. The Leafs with Ron Ellis at center. For Sittler. Just missed. Back come the checks to center right. Over the line. Coming up. Trying to get ready for a shot. Oh, why? Stick at number 15. Krivacek again. He's dangerous. It's shot down into the Platino zone, into the corner there for Neely Ball. There's a shot goal by Williams. Walker took his man into the boards. Williams cuts up, covers the check. Walker shoots it over the line into the corner, and the Leafs are starting to move. Walker into the corner. Rivacek gets it out and down the ice. That's going over the red line. And back together to Pellick, icing his call against Gladney. With eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the second period, the score is Gladney 5, Toronto Maple Leafs 4. jersey you can wear what the pros wear take a stance visit center sports and customize your Leafs jersey best team selection official team merchandise newest Leafs gear center sports your only destination for all of your athletic official Leafs merchandise located at Air Canada Center gate one Fratisek Stansky behind the Cladno bench Helby out there on the forward line. Go back at Everman. Please keep the puck in. Now finally flipped out and racing down the ice is Everman. Everman trying to get through. Goes right in. And oh, the a great save on that. It goes down the ice. A race for it. Williams, too well covered. Ben Walker stepped into his set, but back comes Novak. Getting it over the line with Kobe. Novak's shot is deflected over to the far wing. Everman gets it to Novak in for Novi. Joe Anson took him off the puck, and it's Mike Pellick. Pellick and uh, Joe Hansen. Up the center ice for Jimmy Jones. Over the line. Still has it. Walker just missed it. Walker missed on his backhand. Back for Novak. Novak of 
Bagnall takes a long shot off the glass. Greg Walker gets it out to center ice. Stopped there by Crosby Show. And over on the far side, Nobi. And he just handed it to Randy Kylock. He gets it over the line. Williams going after Ryan Nobi. Sat around on the boards and out and down the ice. And Greg Nelson now has the puck over to Carlisle. Here's the chance for Boudreau. Boudreau right in front of the Back it comes to Nelson. There's a shot. Oh, deflected by Boudreau. And the Leafs came awfully close as Walker was in the low. What a difference in the reaction of this crowd from the first few minutes of this hockey game when the Czech scored and the first three shots. There were a lot of cat calls about the Leafs play, but here's a close call by Walker right off the side of the goal post. Oh, the side of the net, not quite the goal post. And Walker slammed his stick on the ice moments later. That fourth goal, that great goal by Sittler uh, from Valaket there seems to have brought the crowd alive, and it's a pretty good hockey game right now. Chris Boudreau with Scott Guyland and Harold Thompson. Number four is Vorjak, who gets the puck up on the right wing. To center ice. Up for Peter Stasny. Right. They get it to Pozar. Gets it in front. Gordy McRae comes out and covers up. Just a few minutes ago, Gordy McRae made a great save on Krizovac, uh, who was right in again on a backhand. And probably that was as big a save as he's had all night. On the scoreboard, Detroit leading Hardabitsa three to one now as Hull, Lahed, and Vatslav Nedimansky <laughs> have scored for the Red Wings. That's great. Peter Stasny, number 16, Aaron Stasny, number 21, and Kozai, number 19. Andy Carlisle, five to four in favor of Platinum. Stasny going in, it's right in front. Knocked off the puck into the corner. Those are trying to center it. Marion Stasny covered by Scott Garland. Scott Garland, Marilyn Thompson. For Bruce Boudreau. Boudreau and Thompson shot it wide. Garland goes down into the boards. Thompson keeps the puck in to Garland. Back to Thompson. Oh, and Boudreau just missed it. Back for Thompson, and he couldn't get it. In the corner, right out in front of Boudreau. A shot. Harold Thompson over to the hot and there's another shot. Goes back to Pellet. In behind the net. Garland has it. Gives it to Boudreau. He rolled it out in front. There wasn't anybody there. Peter Stasny getting it up to Pozar. Pozar over the line. Still has it. Takes it off the boards by Mike Pellet. Puck is grabbed off. Play is called. They have a penalty here. Super Series 78 is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Tournament poker is about patience, stamina, mental focus until eventually your head's up and there's just one more opponent left to beat are you ready for tournament poker at the world's largest poker site pokerstars.net the boys play hockey tonight very few penalties two in the first period now Thompson in there for slashing at 14 10 of the second Mueller at center the puck comes back number nine is Neliba comes to shot forward from the blue line Neliba again a long range shot he loses the grasp but Gordon McRae only took them seconds with the man advantage to park one in there it's six to four that was a shot from right out to the center of the 
from the point by Neelibar and went right through the middle. Bang, bang, the Leafs couldn't get in front of it. They couldn't stop it. Six to four, the score, Cladno. By number nine, Jan Neelibar. Assist, number 14, Fakov Sikora. And number 18, Zenek Mueller. Time, 14-17. 17 seven seconds after the penalty to Errol Thompson and it's six to four now in favor of the Gladno team from Czechoslovakia Leafs have gotten within one but they just can't get that equalizer they have been down three at one point now they're down two again Mike Pellick couldn't keep it in the puck goes down the ice Going after it is Milan Novi. Novi pulls it out in front. They kick it in the hand. No goal. And obviously kicked that one in. Wally Harris rules it off. Everman 22. Watch him on the replay. I think the you'll agree. He kicks it in with his right foot. Very clear, Brian. He waved it right away, too. I don't think the puck was across the line before Wally Harris was waving it. No goal. A moment. Let's take another look at that goal by Nelly Ba off the face off seven seconds after the penalty to Thompson. Right through the middle of the net. Right Alicat goes back for it. Back of the net. He's being watched by Novak. It came out in front. Alicat. Up for Sittler. Sittler. Getting it over the line to Alicat. Back to Sittler. Goes the end of the shot. And that was stopped. Another great play there. He fought off the puck handler, or, or, a Czech player who had taken him right out of the play and stayed with it and just touched the puck over to Valakhet on the wing, who got it over to the right side. Could have been a goal again. Oh, that Czech coach, he's got time to see some of the spectators in the crowd, too, Ren. <laughs> hey, watch the ice, fella. <laughs> You never did that when you were behind the bench, did you, Ren Blair? Never. 4.34 remaining in the second period. Landno leading 6-4. Fittler with Ellis and Valakit. Up right to the net again from that face-off. We have Marion Statsny, Peter Statsny. And Yaroslav Fozer, number 19. It's in front of the net again. Shot out and down the ice. A race for the puck. Mary Stasny goes after, takes the shot. It's not that. Mary Stasny trying to kick it out in front, and Ron Ellis has it. Ron Ellis, Daryl Sittler, and Jack Valakin. Ellis down the wing, shot it off the board. It came out in front. Well, by Kalisek. And that means a face-off to the right of the net. Kulishek is a cook. He likes cooking. He likes hunting as well. He's a single fella, girls. In fairness to the Leafs uh, and the team they're playing, Ryan and Bill is part of us is a fourth place team in the Czechoslovakian 12 team league as compared to this team being second and uh, Philadelphia beat them quite handily. Although Detroit's leading three to one, they're playing a tougher team. It comes for Randy Carlisle, a shot. That's not right back again. And Mueller, up at center, number 18. Over the line is Sikora. And he couldn't get a shot. It's cleared around on the board by number nine, Nellibar. And Randy Carlisle feeds it now to number three, Greg Hotham. Hotham to Ron Ellis. Unable to get away. And Gladno come over the line. Malakit's got it again to Sippler. Sippler down the ice. Over the line and it's knocked back out again. Number 14, Sikora. Shoots the puck in. He's out there with Mueller and Grievichin. Errol Sippler, number 27, at his own blue line. Up the center ice. He shoots it in. Ellis goes in after him. Valakit, they go down, and the puck is underneath. The play is called. And it comes to the blue line and out. Jimmy Jones over to Trevor Johansson. 
Joe Hudson failed to get it over. Walker offside. Crowd really getting on Mike Pellick tonight, but I wanted to get a word in here for young Hautham, who you know, Granny, up from the Saginaw Gears, your club, a fifth round draft choice a couple of years back, playing very well out there for young fellow. Yes, he played well for us last year when we won the Turner Cup, and he's been going very well, and they were short, and he's up doing a fairly good job here. Puck out at center ace, taken by number 23, Ryan Novi. Novi with a backhand. William. A check player down on his knees at the far end, and I noticed Tiger Williams skating away from the scene. I don't know, I didn't see what happened down there. But now uh, there's a discussion between the officials and Williams. And they have a penalty here. Ace Bailey has the door open. It's called by the linesman. The Tiger goes in. That was well away from the play, whatever it was that happened. Let's see if we can catch it by way of television. Top left corner of your screen, Williams going in against the cross check, check. cross checking him to the ice, and the linesman spotted it. Round of penalty to number 22, Dave Williams. Five minutes for Spearing. Oh, Time 17:25. Dave Williams, like five minutes for Spearing. Well, that's a big Something penalty. Something may have happened afterwards. Yes, and and maybe you can't see the point of the stick bill of how that went in. He hit his back to the camera. Five minutes for spearing to Tiger Williams. And with the Leafs trailing six to four, they could be in real hot water now because they can score as many goals as they want in the five minute span. And we'll see what Platino does with 235 remaining in the second period. Eberman, Novi, and Novak are out there for the Cladno team. Comes back to the blue line. They just move the puck around now. And he gets set for a shot. It's not out. Kept in. There's a pass in front. Novak couldn't get it. Back for Jimmy Jones. Up to center right. Bill has tried to go over the blue line. Lost it. Cleared by Milan Novi. Eberman takes it. Puck over the line. Everly and into Novak. His shot stopped by Joe Hansen. Novak's got the puck again. Here comes back to Everly. Back to Novak. Over it on the other side. And Mike Pellick stopped that. Got it to the blue line, but not out. Puck kept in. Over comes to Novak. Novak back to the blue line. Back to Novak. Novak and in. Tied up. Now he gets it back again. And Caberle got a shot. Cody McRae stopped that and holds it up. And holds on. They just seem to hang on to that puck, moving it around, getting into those holes, and don't waste those shots. And when they take one, it's either in that net or you've really got to grab that rebound. You know, around the crowd can do uh, Mike Pellick all they want, but he's a pretty steady performer with a man short for the Leafs. It's a reputation as a pretty good penalty killer. We're going to have some changes now as the, uh, the newcomer, Greg Houghton, comes out there along with Randy Carlisle. And Johansson is also pretty good out there with a man short. Ladno six, Toronto Maple Leafs four. 126 remaining in the second period. Here it comes back to the blue line. A screen shot, that's why. Shot by Randy Carlisle. Carlisle gets it down the ice. And 39 seconds left in the penalty. 112 in the second period. Buck is cleared up to center ice. That's Peter Stasny and Terry Stasny. And Bozen. Shot by Ferguson. Out to center ice. Ellis nearly got loose. Arian Stasny to Peter Stasny. Over the line. Gets it back to number here, Mac. Now it's back to him again. Here comes the shot. And goes to the goal line. It didn't go over. Oh. McCray lost sight of the puck, and it was right on the goal line. It has to go up completely over. And everybody just held their breath until McCray and a teammate spotted it. 
I think it was Houghton or, or Carlisle came in to help him out. There it squirts loose, comes right to the line and stops there. Oh, close <laughs> call. From this angle, look at that. Watching everything in slow motion. Randy Carlisle oh. very deftly moved it away from that goal line. That's when a goalie is glad he moves those skates across the ice, rough it up a little bit. <laughs> 30 seconds, 37 seconds remaining in the second period. And then Marion Stasny is going to take the face off. It's back over here on, at the blue line. Here comes the shot again. That one hit. And Butler gets it out with 27 seconds. And Jimmy Jones trying to kill off this penalty. Here comes Peter Stasny. Dropped it back. Gained to the blue line and out. Number four is Vorjak. Vorjak giving it to Peter Stasny. Peter Stasny over to Pozar. Pozar gets it back to Marion Stasny. Marion Stasny to Peter Stasny. And that is stopped by Trevor Johansson. Gary Butler going down the ice with a long shot wide as the bell goes to end the second period. Very effective penalty killing. As Tiger Williams still has time to serve. 2.25 left in his five minute steering penalty. And so the score at the end of the second period. Cladno six, Rado Maple Leafs four. Before, no coward. After, no coward. <laughs> no coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30 Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. The Maple Leafs are tangling with one of the elite teams in Europe. Kladno, as a club team in Czechoslovakia, has won that league championship three straight years from 1974, 75 and 76. And in this tour of Canada and the National Hockey League teams, they are bolstered by five additional players. They lead in the game by a score of 6-4 to four at the end of two periods of play. You're watching Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leaf TV. Hi, this is Chuck Storm. I'm live at the scene where last night there was a robbery at about 3.30 in the morning. Now, police have... Oh, oh. George Simmons saw me to stand up. He wants you to write jokes for him. What? Yeah. Why? From director Judd Apatow. Um, I'm a chubby, hairy man. Are you trying to make sure no girl will ever sleep with you again? <sighs> On July 31st. It's good to be young. You should cherish this. This is the best time of your life. Get ready for some serious comedy. Laughter is wonderful medicine. Your accent is very thick. Are you mad that you died at the end of Die Hard? Funny People starts July 31st. The Canadian central defender from the better hand. It's the opening goal. He's done it. It didn't work last Saturday. It has this. Di Rosario. There's a little more to this game than meets the eye. Thomas Caberlet of the Toronto Maple Leafs is the son of Frantisac Caberlet, playing in this exhibition game back on January the 2nd, 1978. And Frantisac Caberlet, Pat Boutet, found out all about the intensity of one Tiger Williams. I don't care if it's for money, marbles, or chalk, whether it's for a card game or a hockey game, this guy's intense. Well, I think, you know, we were, we were down a little bit there, and uh, Tig probably wanted to get, get everybody, get him up and get him going a little bit, and uh, got a little too aggressive there, and uh, led with a stick instead of his body, and got, you know, five minutes for spearing. Tiger Williams, though, in this era of hockey, was an integral part of this team. Not only was he was a decent goal scorer and a decent player, but his toughness and physical play, because you're in an era now where uh, an awful lot of this goes on. 
Well, you know, I think Tiggy came to play every night, and uh, I mean that's what made him the player that he was, and everybody respected him, and uh, not only his teammates but the other other teams. So uh, Tig was a, a, a you know player you could always count on to, to be there for you, and uh, he was a great teammate. Now, after two periods of play, what's the intensity level like in the dressing room? How do you feel about things? Well, I think now we you know we we don't want to you know, we don't want to get embarrassed, and uh, I think everybody's just trying to get out of this thing the best way they can, and and try and make it as close as they can and make it a hockey game. All right, it is a hockey game. At the end of two, it's six to four in favor of Pladno. You're watching Molson Canadian Leap Classics on Leafs TV. When I turned 40, I had four kids and a full-time job, and I was concerned about my cholesterol, so I joined a soccer team. I could barely walk after the first game. A friend encouraged me to keep going, and I've been playing for five years now. I've made great friends, gained confidence, and I'm a better soccer mom and role model. In fact, my daughter chose the same jersey number as me. I'm Allison, and my participation is soccer. Sure, you could come to Arby's and pick your favorite, or you could pick four of your faves for just six bucks with the Arby's Pick Four value menu with 330 possible value combos, like the Curly Curly Drink Melt Meal, the Onion Rings Drink Turnover Mozzarella Meal, the Mozzarella Turnover Curly Melt Meal, and new to pick four, the Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, <gasps> with a Junior Deluxe for dessert. The Arby's Pick Four value menu is back, but it's only for a limited time, so hurry in to pick yours today because you've got 330 ways to say, I'm thinking Arby's. In that second period, Scott Garland scored from George Ferguson to narrow the margin 4-3, but Miroslav Krivicek scored his second of the game to get a two-goal lead back for the Czechs. Daryl Sittler from Jack Balakett on a nice pass made it 5-4, but then it was Jan Nilaba scoring it 6-4 at the end of two. And as we get set for the third, let's go up to Bill Hewitt. And we have Tiger Williams in the penalty box. There's two minutes and 24 seconds left in his penalty. Shorthanded at the major penalty. Trevor Johansson drives the puck down the ice. Ends up behind the net. Taken there by Pastichil. Pastichil gets it up to center ice. That's Nobody going in. We'll go back and Eberman couldn't put it in from the side as Gordy McCray went down. Oh, Mike Pellick must feel badly on that. Again, you heard how he talked about the one-on-one -on, -one on Pellick, and there, the Czech player just sifted right around him and had a glorious scoring chance. Again, it was Eberman. He's a he's a real good hockey player. What Mike's having trouble with these guys is they go wide. Comes back to the blue line. Heavily right in front, and that shot was grabbed by Gordon McRae again. This line of Eberman, Novi, and Novak is putting on terrific pressure. Novi number 23, Novak seven, and Eberman number 22. Comes back to the blue line, Butler gets it out, races after it. At number 11, Pastichil is out there with Caberley on the defense, goes back for it. Pastichil, number 11, with Caberley. Takes the pass, gets it up at center to Moran Novi. Novi back for Novak, and it's intercepted and shot down the ice. And with a minute and 19 seconds left in the penalty, the score is Radno six, Toronto four. Up at center ice again. Stopped. Now a quick pass over for Milan Novi. Novi is too well covered by Wagner. Mike Pellet shoots it down the ice. Back for it is number 12, Caberle. Back of the net. Now it's cleared up. And on the right side comes number 20, Marion Stetson. He's over the line. Covered by Mike Pellet. Took him out. Trevor Johansson shot it around, but not out. 
Here it comes back. The shot. The score. The flexor. That looked like it went off a Leaf player's stick. I think it might have went off Trevor Johansson's stick, or it could have been the Czech player's stick. They were both right in front of the net. I think uh, well, they only had Bozar 30, seemed to tip that one. They only had 33 seconds left in the penalty to Williams. They'll still have to kill that as a five-minute penalty. They stay in, but the Czech score again, and it's seven to four. Watch again now, from just inside the line. Puck on its way. How did it get in? Final goal scored by number 19, Jaroslav Pusar. Assist number five, Boshislav Chermak. And number 11, Frantisek Postasil. Time 152. Jaroslav Pusar. Pusar got the goal. It's up at center. Schipper can't get it. It's over the line. Randy Carlisle slipped it out. Ellis. Darrell Sittler. Sittler takes a shot, goes around, is hooked. Rolls right to the goalkeeper, and there's a penalty. Okay. Chermak, who helped set up that seventh goal by Czechoslovakia, is called for hooking here against Darrell Sittler in the time 221, third period. Go. Boudreau wins the draw to Randy Carlisle. Teams are even. The shot is wide. It ends up off the glass. Daryl Sittler for Dave Williams. Back to Sittler. Sittler then to Williams. Over to Carlisle. Carlisle pass goes over. And they have an interference by number three. That's what Howie Meeker was talking about, Bill, uh, before during the intermission about the tremendous amount of interference that the Czech team does. And uh, it's refreshing to see uh, Wally call that kind of penalty because that's, that's one of the worst sins in hockey in terms of the rules when, it, when, you're not, when the guy's not playing the puck at all. Is that very common in international? Uh, well, the European teams, yes. that's one of their things they get away with tremendous. When you're playing in Europe, Bill, they never play that, which is one of the things that's frustrating the visiting North American teams. Okay, now the Leafs will have a two-man advantage. They trail by three and have a golden opportunity now to get back into this hockey game. Bruce Goodrow back at the Velikat. Back it comes to Sittler. Sittler trying to draw the game for Ellis. Back to Sittler. Sittler back to Ellis. Ellis Trying to find a man in position to shoot it. Hitler over for Boudreaux. Boudreaux. Back to Sittler. Sittler for the swing of the shot. Right in front. Rebound. Couldn't put it in the net. There it's over for Boudreaux. Back to Sittler again. Harold Sittler into Ellis. Ellis shoots. And shot arrives. Boudreaux back for Sittler. Harold Sittler keeps it in to Ellis. Lace with a two-man advantage. Over the line again for Sittler. Into the corner. Falls. The puck goes to the blue line. Valakett's got it. Valakett. Over for Boudreau. Boudreau shoots. That one's knocked down in front. Carlisle gets it back to Boudreau. To Valakett. Valakett. Into Randy Carlisle. Or right in front of the net. Boudreau will die. And that will stop. That is cleared out by Kovac. Go back to center ice and going back for it, Velikat. Jack Velikat, still with a two-man advantage. Over the line, going into the loop, and he left the puck there. And the crowd groans as Velikat broke right through and lost control about 15 feet in front of the goal. He made a great shift up. at the defense. He was right in, it was just a shame that it slid off his stick. And the goaltender was already down. I think he was already out of the play. Check coach looking up at the clock a moment ago. Only five, seven seconds left in the penalty as we watch again. Valakin losing control right there. Seven seconds left in the penalty to Shermack. And 29 seconds left in the penalty Here to Vivoda. Watch again. Here, You're right, Ren. He that really was a great shift. And there he oh, lost his foot off his Where stick. did it go? The goaltender's down. Roger was pulling it all stops with three centers out there. 
Here's a set by Errol Jackson. And a good save again by Pulisic. Errol Thompson getting a chance. Thompson with Ferguson and Scott Garland. Pelic and Johansson. Comes back to Trevor Johansson. There's his shot in front of the net. It goes to the corner. Back. Right now are now only one man short. And up against the boards again. They hold it there. Play is called. Roughing along the glass there. 11 seconds now left in the penalty to Vivoda. 7 to 4 the score. Third period action at Maple Leaf Gardens. 15 minutes, 28 seconds remaining in the game. You have to give the uh, Gladno team marks uh, for killing off that penalty in the manner they did with three men for quite a while. Uh, at least had their chances, but they kept control of the puck. Back to Trevor Johansson over to Mike Kellett. Takes the shot. the point and I think Ferguson may have redirected it into an upper corner. What do you think, Ryan? I think that's right, Ryan. That goal was coming to the Leafs, so uh, they had had some fine chances during uh, the, the penalty with two men off, and I guess that makes up for Valaketz, who should have had a goal before. And It's a 7-5 game again, and uh, I, if Toronto could get the next goal, they still got over 15 minutes to go. And George Ferguson. They do give the goal to Ferguson. And Johansson earns an assist. 4.36 the time. Mike Pellick and Trevor Johansson. Time 4.36. 7 to 5. The puck cleared by the Leafs back in again. Off the board for Beverly. It's knocked right back to him. And he gets it off his stick. Comes up to the blue line. Cleared out to center ice. And Trevor Johansson shoots it right back in again. Back for it is Nelaba goes down the ice. After it is Trevor Johansson. He's got it. Got it too far for Pat Gutet. Comes back. Rebacek couldn't get anywhere. Now there's going to be a penalty slashing to the Leafs. And it's Boutet. Tonight's game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Pride. Excitement. Style. It's all in the jersey. You can wear what the pros wear. Take a stance. Visit Center Sports and customize your Leafs jersey. Best team selection. Official team merchandise. Newest Leafs gear. Center Sports. Your only destination for all of your athletic official Leafs merchandise. Located at Air Canada Centre, Gate 1. Tournament poker is about patience, stamina, and mental focus. Until eventually, your head's up. And there's just one more opponent left to beat. Ready for tournament poker at the world's largest poker site, PokerStars.net. Ted goes for slash and bill at 521. And there's the slash on 15, Krivacek. Milan Novi with Eberman and Novak. The puck is shot down to center ice. Must be show. Here's Novi. Back over the line for Novi. And Buster Shield. Buster Shield gets it over. Played into the corner. Novak gets it back. Here comes the shot. Center ice. Jimmy Jones tried to steal it. 
It's cleared over to the other side, and Novak gets back quickly to get it behind the net. Must the shield. Check. Well, back there for it now is Keverly. To Land Novi back into the corner, across the shield, across the shield, in front of his own net. Gets it up to Novi too far, and it ends up on Mike Pellet's stick. A long pass for Jerry Butler, just failed to click. Cleared, but not out. Finally taken by Jerry Butler, and Butler with 54 seconds left in the penalty to Mike Pellet, and he fires it down the ice. And Pladno go back. A pass up Ellis. Took his check out. Novi comes back with a pass over the line. Eberman couldn't get it shot. Sheila Bryan had to stop by McRae. Seven to five for Kladno. That puck is shot down the ice. 22 seconds left in the penalty to Boutet. 12.56 remaining in the game. Pass goes down the ice. Back for it goes Carlisle. He's back to the net. Being watched by Peter Stesny. Goes down the ice. He's getting it down. Boutet has three seconds left in his penalty. Now he's out. Well, the Leafs were able to kill off that penalty. Marion Stesny gets it over out of the left side. Back for number 19, Pozar. And it goes all the way to McCray. McCray. And they stop the play. This is Super Series 78 from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Before, no coward. After, no coward. <laughs> No Coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30 Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. When I turned 40, I had four kids and a full-time job, and I was concerned about my cholesterol, so I joined a soccer team. I could barely walk after the first game. A friend encouraged me to keep going, and I've been playing for five years now. I've made great friends, gained confidence, and I'm a better soccer mom and role model. In fact, my daughter chose the same jersey number as me. I'm Allison, and my participation is soccer. Sure, you could come to Arby's and pick your favorite, or you could pick four of your faves for just six bucks with the Arby's Pick Four Value Menu with 330 possible value combos, like the Curly Curly Drink Melt Meal, the Onion Rings Drink Turnover Mozzarella Meal, the Mozzarella Turnover Curly Melt Meal, and new to pick four, the Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, <gasps> with a Junior Deluxe for dessert. The Arby's Pick Four Value Menu is back, but it's only for a limited time, so hurry in to pick yours today, because you've got 330 ways to say, I'm thinking Arby's. Behind the net. He hit block, uh, Scott Garland, number 25, with the puck. Mike Pellick for Trevor Johansson. Up for Bruce Boudreau, too far. And Errol Thompson failed to get away. Up shot down into the end. He fell as a race for the puck. And Mike Pellick beat him to it. Got a tap on uh, pads for his effort. Finally, he's a little tired at this point, Bill. He's had a long evening out there, and you know, penalty killing a moment ago, Ren Blair uh, with uh, Jones and Butler shining. The Leafs allowed only one shot against Gordon McRae. I've been very impressed with Jones' penalty calling here tonight, in the, in the times he's been out. Butler too. They did a fine job on, I think, two or three occasions here. 10:45 remaining in the game. Seven to five to score. Errol Thompson behind that coming. Tried to come out in front. Turn. Finally lost it. Clear to the blue line. Johansson kept it in with Garland. Garland got his shot right on the net. Thompson goes after the loose puck. Took his hand to the board. Pedro losing it then to number four. Warjack. And it's brought out now by Clatno to center ice. Quick pass over on this wing. 
Moving in was Novi, and he was knocked down. Novi is on the ice. Took a terrific jolt as he let the shot go. And Milan Novi is getting up very slowly. I think he collided with uh, Trevor Johansson, number four of the Leafs. Novi is some during the intermission in an interview with Dave Hodge. 59 goals last year to lead all Czech scorers at home. Watch now as he had his head down on the play. Just as he shot, it was Trevor Johansson who barreled into him. Good clean body check. These European teams are never afraid to improvise. For uh, the first two periods, Eberman, who's a fine hockey player, uh, was playing the left wing, and all of this period, he's been playing the right side. Uh, he's a left-hand shot, but uh, he looks to be able to go on both sides. Peter and Marion Stesny out there now on the forward line along with Yaroslav Pozar. Buck shot into the lead zone. Thanks to Butler. Turned around on the boards and it's George Ferguson. Shooting it out to center ice. It's cleared right back by Vibota. Goes into the lead zone of Randy Carlisle with nine minutes and 47 seconds remaining. Seven to five in favor of Gladno. Randy Carlisle gets it up. Leafs get to center, shoot it right back in. Back of the net. Back in there first, try to get it out in front of the net. Here comes a shot. That's deflected wide. Now then, Randy Carlisle a shot. Right that's the rebound. Butler goes into the board. The puck comes back to the blue line again. Another shot, and that's knocked down. And Cladno clear it down the ice. Nine minutes and ten seconds remaining in the third period. The score is Ladno seven and the Toronto Maple Police five. jersey you can wear what the pros wear take a stance visit center sports and customize your leafs jersey best team selection official team merchandise newest leafs gear center sports your only destination for all of your athletic official leafs merchandise located at air canada center gate one tournament poker is about patience stamina and mental focus until eventually your head's up and there's just one more opponent left to beat. Are you ready for tournament poker at the world's largest poker site? PokerStars.net Nine minutes and ten seconds and there's Latino leading seven to five. Shot by Ellis, missed. Brought back up to center ice. Number 15, Hibachek. That shot just deflected off the pad of Gordon McCray and just about went in the net. What was the highest goals total against the Leafs this season? You were right about that, Ren Blair. And I understand you're going to join us in St. Louis on Thursday night for the Spartak game. We'll be yes, I'm looking forward to that. That's the Russian team. Yeah, we'll be happy to see you there. Mueller out there on the forward line now. Rivacek and Sikora. Goes back to number four. Borjak up to center ice. To Krivacek over here on this wing to Mueller. And Mueller is stopped by Valakat. Sittler tried to steal the puck. That center ice. Now here's a chance for Mueller. High shot. That bounced over top of the net. Goes to McRae on the rebound off the skate. 
Once again, Krivacek was right there looking for a rebound. I mentioned the game in St. Louis Thursday night with Ren Blair. Watch for that on CBC television. Then Friday night, we're coming right back at you from the Montreal Forum with Spartak again, opposing the Montreal Canadiens. I can't wait for that one. That should be a good game, Ryan. The goalie and the coach, Palmatier and Nielsen. Up goes out to center ice. Up to shield. Shot it in, but Blocker hanging by the glass. With his size and weight is why he didn't pull the boards over. <laughs> He's quite a guy, Kurt Walker. Played first in Saginaw, Brian. That's for right. Years. Got any more like him down there? We got a couple. <laughs> Williams back in his own territory. Up it comes for Walker, and he was given a bump, and then he went down again. Jimmy Jones over into the corner. Greg Hotham getting it over to Randy Carlisle up for Jimmy Jones. He can't get out. Hotham's got it again and shot it down the ice. And going back for it, number 11. Show into the corner. Shot it to the blue line. And here's a two-on-one pass up. Over the line, going in, and Ederman couldn't do anything with it. Now the Novak gets it ahead to the Leaf Blue line. Randy Carlisle off the boards for Williams, 22. Williams coming up to center ice. Shot it by Jones into the corner. Back to the Here's a chance for Williams. Rolled it right in front. Rocker shoot. Walker had the empty net, couldn't put it in it. Comes up over the blue line, stopped by Pellick. Pellick shot the puck around, back to the net, over on the far side, Scott Garland. He bumps into his check, Jones gets into it. Pass to Sir Garland, Scott Garland back to the net, right in front of the goal. Jimmy Jones trying to get it back to Johansson. Johansson took his man out. It's cleared, out to center right. Here's Everman going down with Novak over the line. There's the shot. McCray's got it, and he holds on it. Watch, watch uh, Walker knock this puck down right beside the goal, and he came awfully close to putting it in there. It was off the post. The light went on, but just for a split second. And the pickoff, very sexy, was stopped by Gordon McCray. Talking a few minutes ago uh, about Averman. He went in from the right wing there in a great play, but he couldn't get a shot away because it would be the left-hand shot. If he'd been on the other side, he would have had another good shot at that net. On the face-off, Marion Stastny, another shot. Here's Pierce Stastny, just flipped it by the open side. Got Carlisle. the puck in behind the net. I tell him. Gets a hold of it. Covered, the puck comes out in front. Halo Thompson, there they get loose. Bruce Boudreau couldn't get it out. Peter Stasny over the line. And that was stopped by Mike Keller. Cleared out and down the ice. That no. Shoot the puck down the ice for Peter Stasny, and it's cleared by Randy Carlisle to. Trevor Joe Anson knocked off the boards by Vorjak. They go to and Vorjak coming in. There's a back pass for Peter Stephanie, and it didn't work. A pass to Thompson. Arrow Thompson over the line. Goes after the puck. Back to the back. Centered it for Boudreau. Boudreau covered. Trying to hold it. And it's picked off. Got out and down the ice. Greg Alton gets it now for the Leafs. Gives it to Randy Carlisle. Carlisle coming up at center. Long shot off the board. Goes behind the net. Krivacek getting it up to center. Mueller, number 18, leaves it there. Drop back at center. And they're just playing with the puck now. Neliba, they roll it in. McCray over for Bruce Boudreau, seven to five. Over to Butler. Butler gets it over the line, was given a bump. 
Goes behind. It's checked behind the goal. Beautiful check by Pat Boutin. That was a real good body check. One of the old-fashioned up-front smacks, and you can see how the crowd appreciates a good check like that. Can't blame the player for skating off after receiving one like that. That jolted him. They've got 440 to play here. Czechoslovakia 7, Toronto 5. The Leafs get one here. You'll hear this place erupt. There's a shot by Pat Boutet. Just deflected off a of skate wide. Pat Boutet's got it in his skates. Now he gets it loose. Trying to get away from the Czech player. It goes along the boards. It's picked off by number 22, Varslav Eberman. Eberman. And Novak is offside on the right wing. You can see the Czech team starting to delay time again by back passing and killing off that clock now. Before Noel Coward. After Noel Coward. <laughs> Noel Coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30 Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. When I turned 40, I had four kids and a full-time job, and I was concerned about my cholesterol, so I joined a soccer team. I could barely walk after the first game. A friend encouraged me to keep going, and I've been playing for five years now. I've made great friends, gained confidence, and I'm a better soccer mom and role model. In fact, my daughter chose the same jersey number as me. I'm Allison, and my participation is soccer. All set to go now. We have Ferguson, Butler, and Lutet. Milan Novi. Edward Novak, Boroslav Eberman. Lutet goes into the territory, fell down, still trying to dig the puck out. Butler does, Lutet helps him out. Butler gets it behind the goal, it's kicked into the corner, Ferguson. Back to Randy Kylon, here's his shot, and down the line. Clear to the blue line, but not out. Now it's out over the line to Novak. Novak going down low. Kylon poked it off his stick. Vladno are changing on the go. Got up to center ice. And Kozai, number 19. There's Peter Stasny. Couldn't get by Valakit. Valakit comes to Ferguson. And Valakit hooked him around. Gets the puck. Jack Valakit. Coming with Sittler. Over the line and then missed it. Ron Ellis tried to get to it. Back over the line for Kozer. That's why. Kozer's drive goes to Mary Stetsny. It comes back to Kozer. And the brain stopped that. Kozer again trying to get it. And it's Johansson out to Velikin. That's Sittler. Sittler and Ellis going down together. Over the line. Right into Sittler. Sittler goes behind the net. Centered it back. Velik trying to keep it in. Took his man out. Brought back by Marion Stetsny. Took a shot right on, and that was stopped by Gordon McCray. That play uh, was just a, just a little bit of problem in Stittler's feeder. I think he might have had his hat trick. From Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, this is Super Series 78. Wheeler had set it out for that no. Lost the draw to 
Anthony Jones gets it back to Randy Carlisle. Back to the net. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Seven to five. Kladno over Toronto. Williams. To Randy Carlisle. Over onto the right side. They move up. Stop there. Quick pass. Tended for Krivacek. And he handed it right to Jimmy Jones. Jones ahead to Kurt Walker. Walker and Jimmy Jones. Unable to get over the line. And it's shot back and Kurt Walker goes after it. Kurt Walker to Randy Carlisle. And Greg Hudson brings it up to center. He shoots it down the ice. Williams goes after it. Kulisek stopped it and bounced out in front of the net. There was nobody there to take advantage of it. Now then, Daryl Sittler's on the edge. Over for Jones. He can't get anywhere. And back comes Budno. Over the line for number 22. Everman. And he went into the board. All the way outside. Baby. He was really moving. All the outside. He came down the left wing that time. He's one hat trick score on this tour, picking up his three against the Chicago Blackhawks the other night. Mention again the Detroit beat part of Beatsa tonight five to four with Hull, Lahed, Nedimatsky, McCourt, and Lahed again. A two goal night for Bill Lahed against Part of Beatsa. Chris Boudreau against Milan Novi. Hitler, a quick pass for Thompson at center. Couldn't get away. Shot back in again. McCray stopped that and Sippler. Trying to get it out. Novi couldn't get loose, and Hellick gets it up to center ice for Boudreau. Out of the net. That's going high into the crowd. And the faceoff, as the Leafs have their net empty. Earl Thompson has played well in this game tonight. He, we haven't probably given him much recognition, but he skated well and worked hard. Could have very easily had a goal there, Bill. Well, he got a good backhand goal in the first period. Errol Thompson, he drove one almost right through the cement at the end of the rink on that shot. There's the king of hockey himself, King Clancy, getting ready to make his presentation at the end of the game to the two outstanding players. Wonder who they'll be. A lot of big stars out there tonight. A lot of big stars missing, too. <laughs> well, it's been a high-scoring game, so it makes that tough, much tougher for King to come up with it, I guess. Leafs using six attackers. Boudreaux back to center. Stopped by number 22, Everman. Pass to Sittler. Hitler's got it again. Coming over the line. Sittler closing in to Boudreaux. And just missed it. That's a minute to go in the game. Shadow wide of the net. Boudreaux for Thompson. Errol Thompson against the board. And it's Platino. Up to center right. Novak slide it into the corner. And there's 41 seconds left. George Ferguson. To Thompson. Up to Sittler. Garland gets the puck in. Ferguson goes after it with 29 seconds. Jammed against the board. Udo gets it back to Daryl Sittler. Sittler getting around two. Right front of the goal. It's finally out over the blue line. Two on one. Here it comes for Novak with nine seconds. He couldn't beat Pellick. Here's another try. They score. Milan Novi. Little icing on the cake there for Cladno as they had the empty net. They took their time, worked the puck in, and finally it came to Novi. And easy goal for Novi naturally. I think they were just trying to share the wealth there at that time, Brian, and it, it looked like they one player would have had the goal and it hit a guy, but they still worked it around until they come up with the goal. Settler played great on that shift. He deserved a goal. He made two or three fine moves. But I guess when you just don't have the, enough defense against this is a good hockey club, there's no use of trying to excuse the fact that without top players, they're difficult to, win, to beat. Four seconds to play. Novi got it from Edward Novak. From Novak and Eberman. And Platino have defeated the Toronto Maple Leafs eight to five.
Well, the goaltender comes in for congratulations from the Platino players. Now they line up to shake hands in the traditional sporting gesture that applies to international competition of this nature. Ladies and gentlemen, the stars of tonight's game are being honored in a special way. 24 karat gold plated cups are being presented to the star player of each team. The Molson International Player Award. To present these handsome trophies on behalf of Molson's, we'd like to ask all time Leaf great and Hall of Famer Frank King Clancy to come to center ice. The winners are from Cladno, Peter Stashny. And from the Leafs, Daryl Sittler. Milan Novi into an empty net makes the final score 8 5 in favor of Cladno. You're watching Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leaf TV. I want you to do me a favor. What? Kill me. What? I'm sick. Don't make me suffer. Can you at least give me like a night to think about it? Ha! You would do it! You're a murderer! Are you crying right now? I don't think I am. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good talking to you. <laughs> I don't want to get your hopes up, but we may have beaten this thing. Did anybody ever tell you your accent's very thick? I've been trying to build this cabinet I bought from you guys <laughs> for like six months. <laughs> Kia, that's very funny. Starts July 31st. When I turned 40, I had four kids and a full-time job, and I was concerned about my cholesterol, so I joined a soccer team. I could barely walk after the first game. A friend encouraged me to keep going, and I've been playing for five years now. I've made great friends, gained confidence, and I'm a better soccer mom and role model. In fact, my daughter chose the same jersey number as me. I'm Allison, and my participation is soccer. Sure, you could come to Arby's and pick your favorite, or you could pick four of your faves for just six bucks with the Arby's Pick Four Value Menu with 330 possible value combos, like the Curly Curly Drink Melt Meal, the Onion Rings Drink Turnover Mozzarella Meal, the Mozzarella Turnover Curly Melt Meal, and new to pick four, the Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, <gasps> with a Junior Deluxe for dessert. The Arby's Pick Four Value Menu is back, but it's only for a limited time, so hurry in to pick yours today, because you've got 330 ways to say, I'm thinking Arby's. Kladno wins by a score of 8-5. Pat Boutet, uh, the European door into the National Hockey League has just been opened uh, ajar, I guess. Boreas Salming is uh, uh, obviously a, a key and integral part of the Maple Leafs. But in a game where you don't know much about a team, after you watch people like Milan Novi and, uh, and Peter Stastny, you have to, as a player, probably sense that this door is going to get opened up a great deal if these guys are allowed out. Well, you can see them. I mean, they've all got spectacular talent, and they're great skaters and great playmakers. And uh, and uh, like you say, I mean, once they get the opportunity to come over here, I'm sure you know, as Borja Salming did, um, the NHL teams will be uh, very excited to get their hands on them. That's for sure. Was there any talk, and and was there any communication between the players at all on the ice, or did you ever have an opportunity to chat with them? away from the game after this thing to, to maybe assess that they would like to come over? Was there a chance of that or was it just going yeah, separate I ways? think when you play against them, like you've been on the ice, I mean, they don't, there's no communication at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could say whatever you want and they don't understand what you're saying. But, uh, and, you know, I think some of them have, especially now that, you know, they're doing a lot of traveling and that and they, they do pick up the English, but uh, it's, it's tough from a communication point of view. But you never got a chance to chat with them at another function after the game and they just went separate ways? Okay. Basically, you know, after the game there was, I think everybody would just kind of want to get out of there as fast as they could. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Leafs lose by a score of 8 to 5. It is January the 2nd, 1978. The Leafs and Kladno from Czechoslovakia. Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leaf TV.
pride, excitement, style. It's all in the jersey. You can wear what the pros wear. Take a stance. Visit Center Sports and customize your Leafs jersey. Best team selection. Official team merchandise. Newest Leafs gear. Center Sports, your only destination for all of your athletic official Leafs merchandise. Located at Air Canada Center, Gate 1. Tournament poker is about patience, stamina, and mental focus until eventually your head's up and there's just one more opponent left to beat. Are you ready for tournament poker at the world's largest poker site? PokerStars.net with that victory, Kladno is undefeated in the Super Series 78 after a couple of wins and a tie. Pat Boutet, uh, you got back into the game, made it a game a little bit. But when you consider that as a club team, they added five players. And, of course, with the injuries that the Leafs had, I guess it would have been nicer if you got Lafleur and Robinson and Savard and somebody from Montreal to just drop down and play as well. Would have made it a little closer. Well, you know, I think, like you say, we were, we were definitely hurting for, for the game. and. Uh... I think it was a great opportunity for uh, Scott Garland and some of the other guys to come up and play, and I'm sure they enjoyed it. But, but still, uh, you know, it's still very competitive hockey, and uh, and they, you know, they've been playing as a team for like what, two or three years. So, uh, anytime the new guys come up, it's tough to get our lines together. And, but uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, we're for, for a pretty good game. When you get a look at something like this, Gordy McRae uh, came on and played rather well after a, a bit of a shaky start when everybody seemed to be uh, feeling their oats a little bit. Well, you know, it's tough on Gordy too. I mean, he hadn't played that much lately, and uh, all of a sudden you get one bad goal, and you know, the fans start getting on you. And it, uh, I'm sure you could feel the boo birds. So uh, it was good that we came back and made it a close game for Gordy's sake. So it was an interesting night at Maple Leaf Gardens. It was January the 2nd, 1978. Cladno defeats the Toronto Maple Leafs en route to an undefeated tour of National Hockey League cities. And we want to thank Pat Boutet for joining us and being a part of Leaf TV. And certainly this has been an interesting night of action at the Gardens, as it always was when Harold Ballard was running the operation. You're watching Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leaf TV. This portion of Leafs TV is brought to you by Rogers Cable. Before, no coward. After, no coward. <laughs> no coward changes people. Visit the Shaw Festival and see tonight at 8.30, Noel Coward's glittering collection of 10 one-act plays. When I turned 40, I had four kids and a full-time job, and I was concerned about my cholesterol, so I joined a soccer team. I could barely walk after the first game. A friend encouraged me to keep going, and I've been playing for five years now. I've made great friends, gained confidence, and I'm a better soccer mom and role model. In fact, my daughter chose the same jersey number as me. I'm Allison, and my participation is soccer. Sure, you could come to Arby's and pick your favorite, or you could pick four of your faves for just six bucks with the Arby's Pick Four Value Menu with 330 possible value combos, like the Curly Curly Drink Melt Meal, the Onion Rings Drink Turnover Mozzarella Meal, the Mozzarella Turnover Curly Melt Meal, and new to pick four, the Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, Junior Deluxe, <gasps> with a Junior Deluxe for dessert. The Arby's Pick Four Value Menu is back, but it's only for a limited time, so hurry in to pick yours today, because you've got 330 ways to say, I'm picking Arby's. Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leafs TV. It's a Canadian game. Brought to you by Molson Canadian.